EXP War Trauma is a first-person psychological horror game played from the perspective of a dead World War II German soldier named Krieger. Krieg, Krieg, named Krieger. That. It's available on Steam right now, but essentially only as a demo and possibly not even an actual demo, more like a teaser. The full release window is currently unknown, but the developer is active on Twitter. Now, I have seen so many games that copy the PT formula. I enjoy a lot of the PT copycats, but a lot of these, such as Visage, for example, take the formula established by that playable teaser and add a bunch of mechanics onto it that make it a full-fledged game. Visage took the simple, slow, walking, first-person horror that PT perfected and added a full-fledged inventory, item usage, light mechanic, and more. The result is a truly horrifying game that, in my opinion, lasts a bit too long for its own good. In my personal opinion, there hasn't been a game that can truly capture the spirit of PT while still retaining its own identity. I had heard about EXP War Trauma about a year or so ago, and I've kept my eye on it ever since. The result of that development time is a game that not only feels like a genuine successor to PT, but is also distinctly its own. Now look, I play a lot of horror games, and while most of them are enjoyable experiences because I like the atmosphere and mechanics of a lot of these games, not a lot of them are scary to me. There are exceptions of course, but while playing EXP War Trauma for the first time, there were two instances where I genuinely screamed out loud from fear. The most impressive thing about EXP is that it does so much with quite literally so little. The gameplay loop of EXP is very simple. There are no mechanics outside of walking and an incredibly basic item system in which the extent of it is just taking items such as like a flashlight or a teddy bear and using the teddy bear for one puzzle. But where EXP shines is in its horror. It's not very frequent that a horror game feels like it taps into a primal sense of fear that in turn taps into the unconscious mind, but EXP is a game that is built around the subconscious. From the very beginning of the game, you were told that the game itself is an experiment from a strange company called the Experience Corporation, which involves using DNA from a German soldier from World War II, and through his DNA, you experience his trauma from war that is represented through a PT-like looping hallway. And now as the game progresses, you descend further and further into madness in what looks like a war bunker mixed with an apartment building. And just like PT as well, your progression is locked behind individual puzzles that are disguised as levels. An example being the aforementioned teddy bear. Upon one of the later looping hallways, you walk into a room that locks as you enter it, and the only way out of the room and to continue the loop is to figure out what you need to do with the teddy bear. And now without trying to spoil the experience, because as I said at the beginning of the video, this version of EXP is only a demo of what I can only seem to be a short game, and I want people to know about this, so I won't go into any more information from here. Just know it's incredibly terrifying, and even in its short runtime, it taps into what makes the trauma of war horrific. And while probably greatly exaggerated for video game effect, it demonstrates what PTSD can do to veterans. If you are in the mood for a game that is genuinely tense, gets in your head, and makes you dread what lies beyond what is immediately visible, then EXP War Trauma is a game that you need to play. It's truly scary and it succeeds at nearly every aspect that it sets out to accomplish. 